Hey guys, so this is the second video that I'm doing today. The first one was how I sharpen the blades. This video right here is going to be cleaning this disgustingly dirty trim star. It's horrible. When I show you the close-ups of this thing. Now, this is a working piece of equipment. It's in a very dirty, harsh environment. I keep this thing maintained to the nth degree, kind of like a Formula One race car. However, I don't have time to be washing the mower every week. Um, it does bother me. Yellow and white, I don't think nobody, anybody makes a white mower, but yellow is the hardest color to keep clean. If you've got a yellow car or a white car, you know. And I find this, while I love having a fresh clean mower, like that, it's what it's supposed to look like. Um, let me just show you. It is, it's got mud and just it's this super, super, super um, baked on grass. Remember this thing sits out in the sun all day when it's working, it's just, it's disgusting. I mean, I mow when this thing, when it's wet outside, the dew and the grass, it just, you know, it's, it gets really, really dirty. Uh, if you guys have the Kawasaki engines that have these plastic T drain plugs, I'm going to show, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to get rid of that so it'll never leak again because it does weep a little bit. But anyway, um, part of the reason that I don't like cleaning the the mower is because I don't want any extra water going into the bearings. I'm going to do a separate video after this to show you how to replace, how to remove your spindle and how to replace the bearings because my middle spindle bearings are bad. Uh, I've only cleaned the underside of the deck one time, but I'm going to show you why you shouldn't do that. It's not a good idea, um, but maybe there are, possibly are some workarounds for that. Anyway. This is what we're gonna be using, the Ballard Mower Magic. Uh, this has a spray foaming tip. It doesn't say on the directions how long to let it dwell. It doesn't say if you should um, wet the mower first, dry the, you know, use it on a dry mower. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try both. All right, so I'm gonna spray it on part of the mower and let it sit probably 10 minutes because it may take multiple times. What, I'm, what I hope is that this stuff is so good I can just use gentle pressure washer, gentle is the key word, and not have to get out my um, green scrubbing pad, which is the only way I've been able to get this thing clean. Very gently, uh, but I don't wanna have to do that. So let's just, uh, let's just get right into it. I'm just going to spray this on this side dry. Obviously the worst is down there. And I'm not looking... I want this thing to look nice. I'm not looking for show car finish, obviously. But I do want it to be yellow and not brown. All right, it is, you can't see, it's 11.27. I'm going to let this sit here. Um, I'm going to let it sit here for at least five minutes. So far, it's doing absolutely nothing, but, well, actually it is. A little bit, so. I can see that it's pulling, it's pulling uh, dirt off the plastic already. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my pressure washer set up and uh, have it ready. So, we'll come back uh, We'll come back in five minutes and check and see how much it's loosened up. All right, so it has been uh, six minutes, and the stuff's pretty much drying. But it has, I mean, it's loosened the stuff up for sure. So, let's, uh, 
Let me move the camera back just a little bit. I'm gonna hook the pressure washer or just start it up and blast it and see what happens. Hold on, let's just make sure this ain't a fluke. Simple green. This is what I normally will try to wash them over with. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing over here. All right, it's 12.36, I'll come back in six minutes. Wow. It's crazy, man. All right, here we are, six minutes later. So there's a I press really hard, it'll take some off, but let's see if the uh, pressure washer will get this off as well. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, let's pressure wash the front of the mower and get as much dirt as we can get off and then spray the Ballard Mower Magic when they're wet. So, spray this wet.
We'll let it sit for six minutes. I'm going to spray the casters. I'm going to redo this. All right, it's 46 after. So we'll come back at 52. All right, we'll let this dwell, see what happens. All right, so you can see the brown areas where it's actually, it's like it's melting, melting the grass debris off. All right, let's hit this with the uh, pressure washer and see what happens. Alright, so my advice is to definitely use this without wetting it first, okay? 
We've produced much greater results here and I sprayed this area too. It hadn't been wet. So yep, I will say definitely, most definitely uh, do this with the mower dry. So I'm going to just put you guys on a time lapse. I'm going to get the blower out and try to blow as much of this water off because like over here, I think the problem is it was starting to get diluted. So, but as you can see, this over here is really dry. So, and that right there is horrible. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to do that, set you guys on a time lapse. I'm going to do the whole mower and then we'll come back and see the results. This stuff is legit. I can say that beyond a shadow of a doubt. Now, there are the, oops, the super, super, super heavy areas um, down here. If I use the green scrubbing pad with light pressure, that would get it off. But you, you guys saw how dirty this motor was. Unbelievable. I am going to try not to let it get that dirty again. Um, I say that, but new, old, and this guy has 685.3 hours. Uh, I got my blade sharpened up right there. The next video I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this spindle right here. The bearings are bad in it. So we're going to be replacing that. And, and I was really cranking down on it with the pressure washer. We're going to see if there's any water in the bearings itself. I'll show you all that later on another video. But yes, um, I'm very impressed with this stuff. Stuff is good. Um, this right here is where the magnets from my um, green guard rub. But yeah, I mean, it's, 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 
this is as clean as I care for it to be. I mean, it would be nice for it to be that clean, but that's just unrealistic. It's not a show car. I'm very, very pleased with it, with the um, Ballard Mower Magic, and uh, yeah, give it a try. See what it does on a, hopefully on a mower that's not as dirty as this one. Um, yeah, don't let your equipment get this dirty. Not that it really matters, but anyway, guys. All right, well, I'm, I feel a lot better uh, because the mower is 90% cleaner. So anyway, if you have experience with the Mower Magic, I think they have some other cleaning products. The one thing that, one takeaway that I do want to say is use it on a dry mower. Don't wet it first because it just dilutes it too much. It was much easier, and do it in the shade if possible, it was much easier for it to clean this side off uh, than it was down here once the mower got wet. Uh, even though I try to blow it off, it's still, you know, a little bit wet. But it even cleaned the grease. Like, there's nothing here. Nothing at all. So, very, very happy with, uh, with what it did. So, I will talk to you guys in the next video.